February 7, 14 Dave Javu Tell Hinckley Magistrates Court Upper Bond Street Hinckley Leicestershire LE101RH Notice in writing Case No. 2 Number 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 Dear Sir Slash Madam I am writing in light of a recent telephone conversation with Karen Waterduck with regards to summons for unpaid council tax case no 27 number 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 number. Account reference 21 number 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 issued on 24 slash 06 slash 2014. I offer my defense. I Dave Javu a man, do not believe that anyone in authority is supposed to cause harm to any one of their inhabitants. The law states that the minimum I am allowed to live on is the allocation given by the DWP. I Dave Javu a man, already survive on less than than the minimum allowed by law. I believe that paying monies to Harborough District Council, HDC from here on, in the form of council tax would be putting me in harm's way. This is demonstrated by a copy of a recent common financial statement I volunteer as evidence of my situation, attached. Also, attached, is evidence provided by the NHS proving I receive help and support for my medical condition. I Dave Javu a man claim that using court liability orders to commit harassment and bullying in an effort to extort people into parting with money they require to live on is unlawful and deshipful. Demonstrated below by a quote from Halsbury's Law. One administrative courts have no authority in this country. Halsbury's Laws of England on Administrative Law 2011 The law is absolutely clear on this subject. There is no authority for administrative courts in this country and no act can be passed to legitimize them because of the constitutional restraints placed upon Her Majesty at her coronation. So, with Halsbury's in mind I believe that Hinckley Magistrates Court have no authority to give HDC a liability order against my person, and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights Article 17 2, no one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property. This would also have to be broken for the court to issue liability order against my person without considering all of the evidence any breach of my human rights will go down as a statutory offence and can be prosecuted at Queen's Bench under common law I forbid any man or woman to do so. And the harassment and bullying Harborough District Council have already inflicted upon myself and my person, should be taken into account, especially when HDC received a letter from myself requesting to see the law that obliged me to pay council tax last year 2013 HDC failed to respond. Therefore failed in their duties, yet are extremely quick to inflate a pound 36-ish debt to a pound 180 plus debt to try and inflict a liability order upon my person. The imbalance of priorities demonstrates a lack of duty of care by HDC which is a right every man and woman should receive automatically HDC demonstrated in favor of a more carnivorous, couldn't care less, so long as you pay and if you don't pay we will abuse court systems to give ourselves liability orders, which then we give to third party firms with teams of men whom will come into your home and steal you possessions, approach. I see this as demanding money by menaces which is unacceptable and leaves me with no trust in council staff nor current HD council mandate, whom in my experience are now untrustworthy. And, for these reasons mentioned above it is unacceptable and I forbid any future attempts to gain joinder with myself. Any attempts to do so shall be seen as harassment and bullying designed with intent to commit fraud against me and shall be dealt with at a court of law, under common law whereby the man or woman committing the offence shall be prosecuted in their individual capacity unless someone in the chain of command takes vicarious liability. I also enclose a removal of rights of implied access. This is a lawful document, any trespass that occurs upon my properties shall be dealt with lawfully. I Dave Javu require cease and desist on the liability order, any attempt to administer my account without my consent shall be seen as an attempt to defraud. I Dave Javu of, my house in a village with a post code, revoke any and all consent and assent relating to this issue and any consent or assent HDC or Hinckley Magistrates Courts assumes or presumes it may have acquired by acquiescence, tacit or otherwise. All consent or assent gained by stealth is forbidden now and in the future at all times and is revoked as of this day.
I Dave Javu intend to stay in honor in all of my accounts even in these times of austerity and for this reason I am willing to make you an official offer a best offer and a final offer of £1 per month, £12 per year towards the council tax deficit. This offer will obviously increase my monthly outgoings by £1, which means I am one more pound per month into minus figures this is lawfully the best I can do. Any more would cause considerable injury, harm and loss to me my life prospects and to my person. I wish to note that I am doing so as an act of good faith, whilst being under duress and living with fear of court actions and possible imprisonment which could result in my death, this is totally foreseeable and under no circumstances is this act of payment to be taken as contractual agreement non assumpsit Also, 1, homelessness is a reality I face, out of necessity I take these steps. 2, Please show the legislation or law that states I am legally obliged or obligated to pay this extra debt HDC has incurred upon my person. 3. A copy has also been sent to Harborough District Council, Legal Department, Symington Building, Adam and Eve Street, Market Harborough, LE 167 AG. Sincerely, without vexation, frivolity or ill will. Underscore 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 Dave Javu I will stand in open court and testify that all herein be true. All rights reserved.